The gene editing tool, CRISPR, is boosting crops, tweaking the genetics of mosquitoes, and creating Lyme disease-proof mice. Now companies are racing to use the technology in humans. CRISPR is, in my lifetime, probably the most exciting single invention that I've seen. Editas, Intelia, and CRISPR Therapeutics are the only public CRISPR companies in the U.S., all with labs in a three-mile stretch of Cambridge, Massachusetts. CRISPR is a technology to accomplish what's called gene editing, and this is for patients with diseases that are caused by mistakes in the DNA, the ability to go to the level of DNA and repair the broken gene. The biotech companies, which all went public last year, aim to first test the technology in relatively simple genetic diseases, where a small genetic tweak can cause devastating damage. In essence, how this works is, it is, think of a GPS localization signal or a zip code, right? You put a zip code onto what we call a pair of molecular scissors. And the molecular scissors don't work until the zip code delivers the molecular scissors to the part of the region or the part of the genome that we're targeting it to. CRISPR Therapeutics and Editas want to start human trials by 2018. CRISPR is moving at a rapid pace. If you had asked me two or three years ago how long it's going to take to get to the clinic, we would have, we would have predicted a much longer time frame than what we're staring at now. CRISPR Therapeutics wants to start by genetically engineering the cells of people with rare blood disorders outside the body before putting them back in. And Editas aims to inject CRISPR tools into the eyes of people with a rare form of genetically caused blindness. Intelia's Birmingham sounds a more cautious note. His company hasn't given a timeline for when it will put products into people. Given the fact that we're going in and you're modifying your DNA, which we've not been doing with other therapeutic approaches, there are some considerations we need to be very thoughtful about. Scientists in China are moving faster. Researchers there started the first CRISPR human trial last year, and scientists have used CRISPR to modify the genomes of human embryos. Where do you draw the line? That it's a curative treatment or potentially curative treatment for a disease versus an enhancement to an individual. For now, the three leading CRISPR companies in the U.S. are focusing on tackling disease and are in a complex series of patent battles in the U.S. and Europe. Basically, the issue is about inventorship, right? So who actually invented this? With the academic groups behind Intellia and CRISPR on one side and Editas on the other. In February, Editas surged after the MIT and Harvard-backed Broad Institute fended off a challenge from UC Berkeley in the U.S., keeping both patent estates alive for now. Intellia and CRISPR fell on the news and are appealing the decision. It is too early to say which companies are going to be best at developing drugs at, at this stage of developing medicines. Ultimately, human trials in the next few years will tell us more about how this revolutionary technology will change our genes and our health. I think that the impact, frankly, we, we're only beginning to understand it. There are 6,000 genetically defined diseases, 95% of them have no approved medicines. So there's a very long list of patients who could potentially be helped with this kind of approach.